Hey everybody, Dr. Coach here. Dr. Matt Frank Orr. Dr. Mike Price. Dr. Matt Claggett. Here at Coach Chiropractic, aka Chiro World, consistently voted best of Omaha for many, 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 many. We thank you for thank that. Thank you. We thank you for your vote again this year. So we're here to talk about a very, um, that's a cool subject. Mm -hmm. I think so. How many people like to play catch? Like to play catch? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to talk about playing catch. So enjoy the video. So how many people love to play catch? I do. I do. <laughs> Dr. Price likes to play catch. I do. And plus he looks dapper too. So playing catch is kind of fun. Sometimes, Dr. Brady's going to wink at me. You got to stretch it a little bit and play catch and stretch yourself and push yourself because you're playing catch, right? Yep. So, you know, Dr. Price, he played, that's hard to see because I got the glare of the sun coming off there. So, you know, playing catch is one of those things that everybody loves to play catch. Um, but sometimes when you play catch, you might drop the ball. So stretch it. Let's really play catch. He's going long. Look at that. So, oh, and he drops it. So, you ever heard that goofy statement, you know, about uh, I caught the cold? Oh, yeah. Or I caught the what? flu? I caught the cold last weekend. You caught it last weekend. Oh, yeah. So what are you doing? Yeah. yeah. You know, so I guess what I'm wondering is how do you catch a cold? Or a flu. Well, it's like you go out long for a pass, isn't it? And you like put your arms out and catch it? You could because you were a very good football player. Mine would be what? Well, because I didn't pass the ball playing basketball. So I'm not going to use that about playing catch. You had to catch it when they passed it. Yes, so I cheered it. So I caught it one time a game. <laughs> and then I took the ball the rest of the game. So you played soccer. So you played I catch did. with your feet. I did. Um, we still got to catch it. What about you, Dr. C? How'd you play catch? You can come in the screen. Oh, okay. So. Um, he was he was watching, so he was like, "What are they gonna ask? How'd you play catch? Because you were telling us you caught you caught it ten times, right? Yeah, within like an eight nine year period. Yeah. So he played catch <laughs> ten yeah. eight annually. nine annually. Year. Yeah, an annual catch. Oh, yeah. um, but what I'm getting at, I guess it's just amazing when we hear this. You say this all the time. I caught the cold. I caught the flu. Mm -hmm. I mean, how come? I mean, how do you like? You don't catch diabetes. Um, you don't catch tooth decay, mm -hmm. um, you don't catch headaches, why do you catch a cold and flu? That's a great question. Great question. More to come. In life, you are bombarded by things that occur every single day. Uh, technology, sad thing about technology, um, there's a lot of bad stuff that we read there. I mean, there's good stuff too, driving down the road, but those um, deal with every day's life mental emotional stressors. Those bombard your body. Absolutely, and there are also physical stressors. So looking at posture, looking at your phone, texting, that's really tough on your neck and your body. Now there's ice out there too, so you gotta be careful of those physical stressors because now you gotta shovel snow. Then we've got chemical stressors. Things like the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, things like different stuff in the air. All that stuff is bombarding us constantly and our body has to try to deal with that stress. And when that occurs, it impacts the spine and nerve system. What happens is the body can no longer further adapt to lifestyle stressors. It gets bombarded and it creates this structural imbalance, this misalignment called vertebral subluxation. When the subluxation occurs in your spine, it causes an irritation on that nerve root and as a result, whatever gland, organ, or tissue that that nerve is running to is impacted and it can no longer further adapt and function fully. When that occurs, what happens is when that subluxation occurs, and we're going to use this time of the season, then you have the cold and the flu balls that are out there. And what happens is then when you have that subluxation, then those are going to come at you and you're going to start catching the cold and the flu. So what we do as your chiropractor is we deliver a very specific spinal adjustment. We use it through the technology we use in our office. And with that, we find that structural imbalance. We deliver a specific adjustment, reduce that pressure irritation on that nerve root so the body can further adapt to lifestyle stresses. Let's say in this time of the year when you have the cold and flu, now what you can do, you have the cold and flu that's bouncing around there. And what happens is when you have those lifestyle stressors and you've been under chiropractic care, 
you now become a bad catcher. So here's our advice. Get checked regularly.